1967, the Beatles released their legendary album, Sgt. Peppers. Martin Luther King began to raise awareness about the Vietnam War. And in the same year, the Reina Mercedes Bookshop in Seville opened its doors, the only bookshop in the whole of Andalusia specializing in architecture and design. Aquí he disfrutado muchísimo. Paco me ha dejado bichear muchos libros, aún no comprándolos al final, ¿no? Pero, pero muy bien. Tiene, está lleno de recuerdos el local. But Paco, the bookseller here for 44 years, retired in 2016. The shop opposite the Reina Mercedes University campus that was so dear to the architects and building engineers of Seville was going to be closed down forever. Vimos un cartel de liquidación por cierre. No hay ningún empresario ni, ni, ni nadie que sea capaz de continuar el negocio. Habían quitado todos los libros del escaparate y todo eso y decíamos, bueno, esto de un día para otro fue la cosa, la cosa así. So it was over. Well, that would have been the case if it hadn't been for three customers who had been visiting the bookshop for decades and who decided to invest their savings in order to keep the shop going. Hay miles de negocios, creo yo, mucho que pueden ser mucho más rentables que que este. Lo que ocurre es que que no son tan bonitos. Now they are looking towards the future to make the Reina Mercedes bookshop a sustainable business. They have started to sell online and they're proposing a cooperative system where customers pay a monthly fee in return for discounts. Y que la librería de alguna forma sea de todos, ¿no? They are also taking their books into the streets and sharing them in a book crossing movement. Que tú puedas venir con un libro usado, un libro de segunda mano, y lo puedas intercambiar por otro libro que nosotros tengamos. And so the bookshop lives on, with its books, its window display, and with memories that will be kept alive.